Good morning. I hope you're having a great week. I hope that this has been a, a meaningful week for you, and I hope it is uh, a season where you are spending some extra time praying, and especially praying for America, leading up to Saturday where there's going to be, I believe, millions and millions of people crying out to God that, that God would bless the United States of America. Now, faith is great, but at some point we've got to do something. Some things are just kind of useless. There's an old song by Rich Mullins where he talks about a screen door on a submarine. That's, that's probably not something you're going to get patented. There's not going to be a lot of people that are going to want that. But I was reading in, in Bob Goff's book, he talks about faith without action. It's like a sailboat without a sail. It just won't get you very far. Well, the Apostle James, I'm sorry, James, the writer of the letter of James, which um, I believe was a half-brother of Jesus, says, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. And I know some people go up in arms. It's like, no, no, we're not saved by what we do. And he's absolutely right. But if you've got the real stuff, if you've got real faith, it will always translate into action. Why? Because it's based in real love. When you know how much God loves you and that salvation is a gift, then there's gratitude. It overflows with love, and that causes us to do things. So you've either got the real deal or you don't. But the real deal will always lead to action. Love is not just a warm, fuzzy feeling. You've probably heard me say it before. I'm really glad that Jesus loved us so much that he stayed in heaven and he felt warm and fuzzy all to himself and sent us a little letter that said he felt warm and fuzzy. No, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. For Jesus so loved us that he laid down his life for us. He went to the cross and was resurrected that we might have the hope of a new life. So apparently, um, Goff says his, his sons are, are really into sailing. And, and um, so it, he says it takes the wind um, to get a sailboat anywhere. But, but if I showed up one day and I told my sons, let's not use the sails today, they'd look at him like he just kind of lost his mind. But sometimes we as Christ followers, that's kind of the way we are. It's kind of like, well, we're, we'll just make the sailboat an extension of the dock. There's an old saying. I used to have it on a poster uh, when I was in, I think, late high school and definitely in college. And it shows this very pretty harbor and there's this nice sailboat sitting there. And at the bottom it says, ships in a harbor are safe. But that's not what ships were created for. I shared on Sunday a quote from Francis Chan. If you read anything by him, he's a pretty challenging guy. But he, this seems to have more than just a touch of sarcasm. See, when Jesus called people, he said, come. And if you were going to come, it required that you do something. Initially, faith required, oh, leave the nets here and go follow Jesus. Leave the sails on the fishing boat here and go follow Jesus. See, we need some direction. So here's what Chan says, though. Can you imagine that Jesus walked up to his first century disciples and he said, hey, would you guys mind identifying yourselves with me in, in some way? Not sure exactly what it is, but some way. And no, no pressure, but don't worry. Um, and I don't actually care if you do anything that I do or change your lifestyle at all. I'm just interested in, in, in looking for people who are willing to say that they believe in me and are willing to be called Christians. No, that's, that's not how it works. See, that's kind of the wishy-washy boat without the sail. It's not going anywhere. No, when we really have faith, it expresses itself in love, and love always expresses itself in action. But one of the ways that we can truly act in a powerful way this week is to pray for America. God bless you. Have a great week.